So I'm going to try and resurrect this copy of Blood Money. This is actually my copy of Blood Money from back in the day. I owned this from back in the 90s. And it's been in an attic for God knows how long. And it was stored in my back room for ages where it was a bit damp. And these discs are not in the best condition. In fact, I do have a video where I actually tried to load this up when I got my Amiga out and resurrected it. And this disc loaded once and then didn't work again. And you'll be able to see why if I show you the disc surface. There you go, maybe you can just catch it there. But the disc surface is covered in mold or mildew or something. So that is, I mean, this disc could already be completely destroyed, but that is definitely stopping it from loading. And today, I'm gonna to try and find out if I can actually resurrect this disc. The second disc isn't as bad, but it's still got the same problem. The disc surface doesn't look great. In the end, I've decided I'm gonna try and bite the bullet and I'm gonna have an attempt at cleaning this disc and see if I can get this to actually work. What I've got is <laughs> a bottle of half drunk mineral water. I'm gonna use that instead of tap water. And uh, I've got a shot glass to put it in here, Jack Daniels shot glass, great stuff. First thing to do, I've also got some cotton buds. I'm just gonna clean it manually and we're gonna see how this goes. Cause like I said, I think the disc is a write off anyway, but if I can somehow resurrect this, it would be great. But if not, it's a goner anyway. I'd just like it at least, at the very least, not to destroy my drive. The disc surface is really bad, actually. First thing I'll probably do is just tape this open so I don't have to keep opening. I'm just gonna put a big piece of tape on there to stop it from closing. I don't even know what that bit's called. Slide? I don't know. It's gonna stop it from closing so I can just keep an eye on the disc surface. That's just gonna make my life a bit easier while I'm cleaning it. I'll try with a bit of mineral water first. I'm gonna pour some in the shot glass. Not much, a bit of mineral water. Now I know there are minerals in the mineral water, so it's not, it's not like distilled water, but it's what I've got, so I'm gonna try it anyway. I figure it'd be better than using tap water, but maybe tap water would be okay. Right, so I'm gonna try and get you a look at what I'm doing here. So I'll, I'll try the back side first. I've got to clean both sides. This bit might be a bit tedious, but I've just dipped the cotton bud in the um, mineral water. Let's just get some of it off. I don't know how much I'm gonna put on here. But, oh, there we go. That is quite a lot of water. So yeah, that's quite wet already. I don't know if this is gonna work. And then I've kind of got to turn it. There is quite a lot of water in there. So I'll just keep turning that. And then maybe I have to dry it with the other end. Yeah, this could be a complete disaster actually. This could be a total disaster. But, like I said, the disc is a write-off anyway. So, what have I got to lose? Apart from having to take my drive apart and clean it, which might be a thing I have to do after this. Oh, I can see like a big groove in the middle of it as well. Oh, it's not looking good that actually. <laughs> this disc might be a write-off. Oh, look at that though. That has already gone a bit brown. So maybe we need a fresh one. So it's definitely taking something off the disc. Whether it's taking the data off is another matter. Hopefully some of this, oh, that is not turning now. Have I put too much water in? I thought I'd be able to see where I've got to, but I'm not sure anymore. Yeah, it's getting quite hard to turn because I think there's a lot of water inside the disc. So if this does work, it might even only then be a temporary solution or just maybe the data's completely gone. But I, I'm not even sure if anyone else has had any success doing this. But I figure I've got a disc that's damaged. It's an original disc. And this is why you use Gotex. Well, this is why everyone's thrown away their disc and is using Gotex. Right, it looks a lot clean now. I think I've been all the way around. The disc surface is definitely looking a lot better. But the disc isn't turning very well, I can tell you that. It doesn't look great at the bottom down there. So there could, there could be data down there that's not very accessible, but that does look better. It's looking better in places. Right, that's one side done. So this other side, I don't know if you can see the other side there is Pretty bad, it's quite hard to get. So I'm just gonna do the same thing 
the other side and see what we get. So it's, it's very possible that this data was eaten years ago and there's nothing to save here. If I do this and it doesn't work, maybe this just saves you the effort of trying it yourself. So I know that after this mold did appear, the data was definitely there, but then it didn't load again. And that's maybe because it actually dumped some crap onto the heads of the disc and kind of like destroyed itself on its last load. But I actually, you know, it did have one last hurrah if it never works now. Um, and I'll, I'll, put, um, I'll put a clip of that video in so you can see um, the fact that it just did work once. Yeah, it pays to store your discs well. I, I, I don't know if you can really stop this from happening. You probably have to store them in a really dry environment. So that looks infinitely better. That looks like a brand new disc now. <laughs> it looks brand new. <laughs> I don't know if all the data has been destroyed, but you never know what's gonna happen there. So that looks really good. The bottom side doesn't look good actually. It's got a giant groove in it. Some little bits of uh, the cotton got stuck in there. I seem to have got them out though. I'm willing to give that a go. If this doesn't work on disc one, then there's no point doing disc two. But there we go, that's my resurrected blood money disc. So let's give this a boot test now and uh, see what we won. I think it's not gonna work. Uh, I've just booted into the Amiga test kit just to make sure that the floppy drive works, just to prove that it does. So I'll just do a read test on this. And this floppy drive I know works really well. It's a modified PC drive, but it does work really well. This is actually, apart from this big scratch in the middle of the back side of this disc, it doesn't look too bad, but we'll find out in a minute whether this is gonna work. Okay, so the floppy drive checks out. Let's put that to one side. Here it goes, blood money, place your bets. Is it gonna destroy my drive? Is it gonna work? Is it not gonna work? Here we go. It's making a lot of noise. It's making a bit of a weird sound as well when it's spinning. Doesn't sound good. It doesn't sound good at all. Yeah, it's, it's not good sounding disc that. Let me put the microphone near to it. So it's looking a lot like a failure. I mean, it's definitely loaded something off the disc because it's got to this black screen. It's done something. But you know, maybe if there's only one bad block on that disc, then the whole thing's shot. No, I think it's waiting for a track that it can't find. So it's possible this disc was already destroyed, but there we go. It hasn't worked, I'm afraid. Blood money is dead. Question is, have I destroyed my floppy drive in the process as well? Let's go back to the Amiga test kit. Well, we've still managed to boot that. Let's just do a retest on this disc. So the good news looks like I haven't destroyed my floppy drive with this disc, but this disc is definitely a goner. I mean, this big scratch on the backside is kind of giving it away, but it's a shame. I'd like this to have worked. The top side of the disc is looking pretty good now, actually. It looks almost brand new but just maybe too much of the data has been destroyed. Oh, and that giant scratch, yeah. So there we go, unsuccessful, I'm afraid. Uh, not the most exciting video, but I just thought I'd do it on video and have a go in case this worked, but there's my blood money disc. If anybody's got any suggestions what to do with a bad blood money disc, I'm uh, open for suggestions. 
So uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.